Hi everyone, it's Kimberly Marks from the Outcomes Assessment Committee and I'm going to walk you through five minutes of adding rubrics to D2L. All right, so this is my course homepage for MRI 203 and this is the course that I want to add my rubric to. So I'm going to go over to the course tool menu and click on this drop down for the course administration tools. So from here, I'm going to go down to our assessment tools and I'm going to choose rubrics. Now on this page, you'll see that we've got some rubrics that have already been shared with us. And we've got some icons next to them. And I do like the icons in D2L because it really gives you a heads up about what's going on. So when you see this little link icon, that means that this rubric has been tied with an assignment or a graded item. At this point, this rubric could still be edited. Um, down here, you'll see this one with the lock symbol, and that means not only has it been associated with a grade book or an assignment, that it's also been used to score that as a, um, assignment or grade book item. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on new rubric. And that's going to bring you to this page where you can edit your new rubric. All right, so the first thing we're going to do to edit our rubric is to change our title here. So we're going to name these, hopefully all the same way, right? We're going to name them as OA, our course number information, course level outcome 2021. So this will allow everybody at the college to search this and be able to find everybody's OA rubrics very easily. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is take a look at our scale. So our scaled items are right here and here's where I'm gonna start kind of copying pasting from that rubric template that we built in the previous video. So I'm gonna move this guy over and pull up my rubric. So this is what my finished rubric looked like. And you can see that I only have three levels on my rubric, so I don't need four. Um, but if you have more than four levels on your rubric, you just add this guy right here and it will give you a new level to work with. So I'm gonna get rid of that one, delete. And I'm gonna get let, rid of level four because I don't need that one. So for me, you can leave your scaled items as level one, two, three, or you can add in your verb that you use to describe that level. So I'm going to add in mastery and progressing. And emerging. And then I'm going to leave the points here. Um, that's the point system that I would like to use. And from here, all we have to do is start copying and pasting our dimensions or criterion into this D2L rubric. So since our students, I'm not going to grade my students based off of this rubric, I'm going to score them for outcomes assessment. So for this particular rubric, I'm not going to add feedback items because my students aren't going to see this. This is only for outcomes assessment. If you have um, a course where you're adding a rubric to grade your um, students, I highly recommend adding this initial feedback that kind of it gives the students feedback, but we're gonna leave them blank for outcomes assessment. Okay, so from here, you'll notice that we're supplied three criteria or dimensions in this rubric in D2L to start off with, but my rubric actually has one, two, three, four, five dimensions, oh, six, six dimensions that I'm gonna be scoring. So to add these, all you have to do is come down to this add criterion and it will give you an extra box. So you can just add as many as you need in 
order to get the number of criterion that you would need to score your rubric. Now, if you make a mistake and add too many, all you have to do is hit the little trash can over here to delete that dimension or criterion. So now that I have filled in all my dimensions and all of my um, dimension descriptions. Now I can finish my rubric by adding an overall score. So again here, uh, I'm going to use my template that we created and I'm going to add in my scale here. So again, I'm going to stick with levels three, two, and one. And I'm going to add mastery, progressing, and emerging. Now our point value up here is totaled for us. So we have a total of 18 points available in this rubric. And we're going to add some targets here. So for me, anybody that scores 14.4 or more points on exam two, which is what we're assessing, is going to have pretty good mastery of the topic. Anybody that scores 12.6 to 14.4 is going to have progressing knowledge of the topic. And any students that score um, 12.5 or lower are going to have merging. And so how I do this is I can add a zero there. Um, hopefully none of my students score a zero, but it's there if needed. And again, this is just like the rubric outline. You can also add um, new scale level items if needed. So we're going to go ahead and make this bigger and we're done with our rubric. We're going to come up here. It's got a check mark and saved. It automatically saves it. Here you have a couple options. You can make this published, draft, or archived. We're going to stick with published, and I'll show you in just a second why. When we hit close, now we're back at that rubrics page, and here is my OA MRI 203 course level outcome rubric, and it's saved here. Um, scoring method is points published in my analytic rubric. All right, thanks everybody. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or any of the members of the outcomes assessment team.